Hi, my name is Air Miller and I'm a drone crasher. After crashing the drone and after the customary losing my cool completely. Ah, oh, shin guards. Functionality. Shirt, shirt, shirt. Fundamentalist. Shirt sleeves. The first thing I did was look at my screen to see if I could line up or locate the drone as I noticed the river in the picture viewfinder. I had about 30% battery remaining, so I knew I had some time but not forever to try and figure out the location of the drone. It took some time as I was looking at the flow direction of the river and trying to see if I could recognize any of the trees or rocks in the viewfinder. When this proved unsuccessful, I asked my wife Lori to walk around the area to see if she would show up on the screen, thinking that might help us in uncovering the drone's location. At this time, I also thought to see if the gimbal up and down feature still functioned in an effort to view more of our surroundings. Luckily, it was still working. This helped a lot, and finally, I caught sight of Lori in the viewfinder. Yay! We found it, right? Only problem was, it's at the very top of a 25 meter high tree in dense mountainous jungle in the middle of nowhere Ecuador. And I'm talking the real middle of nowhere Ecuador, not this kiddie pool foliage you see behind us. We're talking real jungle here, like Rambo type stuff. I mean, like we've been there all day and there hasn't been a soul around. The nearest town, about a 40 minute walk, has a grand total of 500 people in it. So we're out there. I take a couple of zoomed in shots with my phone of the tree that the drone is in. And our extremely low probability of success plan is to try and find someone that is ninja good at climbing trees. The potential talent pool is awfully shallow because as I just mentioned, there's nobody around. We begin to walk towards the nearest town and my wife says, we should knock on the doors of these one or two houses and see if someone is home that can help us. I replied that I thought it would be more likely for us to get help in town where there are more people. Before we could even properly debate this like a married couple, this guy appears out of nowhere, walking up the street towards us and asks us if we need help. There are almost never tourists where we are, so it was more than a fair question. We explain our predicament to him, and he of about 50 years of age and 20 extra pounds says, I can climb the tree. I looked at him in disbelief while my wife simultaneously said in Spanish, great, let's go. The three of us return to the location of my drone fail video and we start pointing out the tree that the drone is in. Very quickly, the Latino man says, I got it. I got the tree and off he goes. Turns out he was an awesome tree climber as he wow, proceeded to climb five wow. of the wrong trees in the next couple of hours. With the daylight quickly fading, we finally got him in the right tree. And as darkness was enveloping the jungle and us, he gave the treetop a violent shake and nothing. The drone was really in there. Just before complete darkness, he somehow summoned all of his God-given strength and maybe a little extra, shook that tree like it owed him money, and out popped the drone. Yay, right? This time? Wrong. Now here we are, the three of us, trying to find this tiny little DJI Mini 2 in the middle of a dense jungle in the dark. It's basically like trying to find a needle in a haystack. After about 15 minutes of futile effort, we all decided the best plan was to abort and try again in the morning. At this point in time, my optimism was fading and I thought it was about 50-50 chance we'd even be able to come back and find this drone at all. Did I mention the jungle was thick? After some talking amongst the three of us, as I mentioned, the man recommended we return in the morning and resume the search. We told him that we had nowhere to sleep for the night and so he recommended we stay in one of his family's abandoned house or semi-abandoned house nearby just a short walk. Did we mention yet that this guy was awesome from start to finish? So we accepted the offer. That's a whole different adventure. Sorry, mom. And we slept in this house overnight. Returning in the morning, the three of us resumed the search. Within about 15 short minutes, thanks to God, the man that was helping us was able to find it somehow. Yay, right? For real this time. We've got the drone back. This is the very unlikely story of how we were able to get our drone back in the middle of nowhere, Ecuador, after stranding it in the very tippy top of a tree. Many, many things had to happen just perfectly at and after the crash for us to get it back. There's really only one reason all of this could line up together. The drone had to sit basically the way it sat in the tree, pointing at the river where we could landmark the location. The gimbal had to work so we could find ourselves in the screen. Then we had to find a guy that could climb these super skinny high trees. Then we had to be able to knock it out of that tree. 
then we had to be able to find it in the dense underbrush of the jungle. It's just factor after factor that lined up that was incredibly lucky, or depending on how you look at it, very blessed to get this drone back. Maybe one or two of these factors will line up for you in your crash situation that could help you retrieve it, however unlikely. Anyways, hope this video helps you. Follow us for more recipes.